All right, so this is where we left off in the last recording. Uh, I just want to point out, when you watch these, I would click this, um, it should be down in this area. There should be a, um, it's not full screen, but it makes the screen a little bit larger. That way you'll be able to read the text, but not have to go to full screen. So you should always click that. Um, anyways, let's get back to this. So I have my information and you should have yours in. Uh, I can highlight this and then right now they're all spaced out, right? You know, probably don't like that. So just highlight that and do remove all styles and that will help. Right? And if that's still too spaced out, that's because it's on heading three. If you change that to paragraph, it'll get rid of some of the spaces. Or maybe I should be going to body text like that, see? Um, so that looks all right. And, and the reason it formatted it um, even smaller is because that's what body text is set for right now. But let's say I wanted this a little bit larger. I'm just going to, and, and you know, there's tons of fonts, guys. Go ahead and pick one you want. Um, whatever makes sense to you. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. But um, I'm going to highlight this, and again, you can make it a little bit larger, though, so you can kind of read it, and that looks pretty good. So let's say this is kind of the way we want it. Um, you know, one thing you might want to do, and this is up to you, let's say you didn't really like these right here, because you have a lot of negative space here, blank space. You could just highlight that, do Control X, and go up here and paste it, Control V, and that would work as well. Um, I think that looks pretty good that way. Um, so maybe I'll leave mine like that. Right, so I'm gonna go down here to this one, and I'm just gonna X it out. Now, please, like, if you like it the other way, go for it. Keep it the way it is. Now, notice this isn't all the way to the bottom. Um, some extra space. You can hit delete and try to get rid of that space. That way, if I enter this down, it'll just bump it down like that. Um, you know, maybe I want to adjust this just a little bit so that way it kind of lines up a little better, something like that. So if I zoom in and out, I would have to save this to see that. But let's say I zoom in and out from. Here, I gotta refresh my page. This is in Firefox now. Um, you can see it, it, for the most part, it stays in, in the right position. Um, again, you can go right click and do table cell properties and, and adjust that if you'd like. But um, okay, let's go with that. And then what I wanna do is right now it looks okay, but it's just white, right? So let's say, um, um, hmm. Not sure if I like this anymore. Maybe I want it down there. Now I'll keep it there for now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's make give it some color and stuff, right? So I'm gonna um, do Control A. I'm gonna select everything, and I am gonna pick. Um, I could pick a different colored font, color or something like that, or uh, whatever else. So um, let's just do this first. Though I'm gonna right click in this cell, and I'm gonna go to no. Let's do it down here. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna right click in the cell, go to table cell properties, and in this cell or this table, I can set a color. So I'm gonna set like um, like a dark red. All right, and you can do whatever you want. And I'm gonna hit OK and I hit Apply. And you can see it happens to all of it, right? And what I can do then is I can do Control A and take all that text and click on this little black box right here, and I can just choose white. And there that goes. So it looks a little better. I kind of like that. Um, you know, kind of matches the skin better and whatever else. And I'm going to save that. And then the background, like this background here where it's white, I can also change that. If I go to um, if I go to Format, Page Titles and Properties, and I'm going to change this. Um, no, I'm sorry. Jeez, what am I doing? Go to Page Colors and Background. And right now it's on default, but I can go to Use Custom Colors, and I can set my background color. To, to black or something else. Maybe maybe I'll go like red or a red that's close to it if I want. Um, maybe it's a little distracting. Usually backgrounds are some sort of gradient or just white. Um, so I'm gonna, instead of this background, let's do um, page titles and properties. Oh, I'm sorry, geez, I did it again. Um, page colors and background. And you can use a background image. Let's say, and here's a mistake people make. They use a picture like this. <laughs> They hit OK, and they got like their picture repeating over and over in the background. That just doesn't look good. Um, please don't do that. <laughs> Instead, um, I would suggest going to a website like uh, grsites.com, and they will make you gradients. So, for example, if I click on gradients here, I could say, oh, I want like a horizontal repeating one, and I can set the size. Maybe I want 18, 1600, um, because that's kind of the width a lot of. Um, display a lot of um, computers display at or around that at least and then the height um, I can just set this to like 10 it can be really small action I'll show you why and or may, maybe I'll make it 40 so you can see don't don't matter what you put there though okay and then I can choose two colors let's say I wanted to go with like that reddish color and I can do a sign and then I for the other 
reddish color, assign, and generate. And you can see what it's done is if I just scroll down, this kind of shows what it'll look like. It goes from a lighter red to darker red to, to lighter again. And if I right click on this, I can save image as. And again, I would want to save it inside the images folder. I actually already saved one called background one. So you can do it if you'd like. Um, or let's say instead you only wanted it to be uh, 200 uh, by 40 pixels. And um, I'm going to make it a more dramatic color so you can see the difference and hit generate. And what that does is make multiple gradients like this. So if I save this, it'll, it'll, I'll show you in a second what that would look like. Just save that image, just right click on it, save as. All right, don't hit download, don't do copy to my folder or any of that stuff. Just right click on it, view image, okay? Um, or, or I'm sorry, save image as. Um, if you don't like that kind of gradient, um, you can also go, and they have a bunch here, you can look at these right here if you want. Um, oh, I'm sorry, if you go to just grsites.com, you'll actually land on this page right here. Uh, just go right up to the top and do um, textures and you'll get to the screen. Uh, if you go to pattern textures though, um, you know, you can set a pattern um, you know, if you would like to do something like that instead, or, and, and don't worry about the pattern, it'll actually repeat itself, same thing as procedural textures, it'll repeat itself over and over. I, I like something like really simple, so I'm gonna go basic, basic texture, and I'm gonna choose just like off-white, I know, terribly exciting, huh, or like gray, <laughs> and hit generate, and you'll see that it just turns into something like that. So once you have whatever you want saved, um, again, you can go to uh, format, page colors and background and set your colors. So let's say if I do the gradient thing, it would look like this. Um, you know, and, and maybe that's not what you want and you can decide what you want. Or I could go to page colors and background and choose, oops, sorry. And choose, I'm gonna go with this background instead. All right, and go like that instead. It's a little more professional, not too distracting. And I'm gonna leave it with that. All right. Um, maybe I could go a little lighter. I'm not gonna get too picky right now. And that looks pretty good. Um, what I can do now is let's save that and look at it from Firefox. Oops, sorry, wrong one. And I can just hit refresh or F5, and it looks like that. Not bad. I don't really like um, these buttons right here. I don't like how everything's boxed in either, especially this line here between the guy and him. So if in Composer, if you don't want that, I could just right click in this area and go to table cell properties again. And if I go to table, it has border right here and you can just change that to zero. And if I apply that, it turns it red, okay? And so if I save that and look in, compo and look in here, if I refresh it, it'll get rid of it like that. That looks a lot better. And I can keep a box around here if I want. It's kind of up to you if you'd like to do that or not. Um, another thing you could do is just these, I could do table cell properties. And in this table, instead of being letting the color show through, you know, I, I could go with like a gray or something, um, kind of bring it off the page a little bit. Hit apply. And it looks like that instead. Or I could do table cell properties table and I could get rid of the border. You do whatever you want. If you don't like that, go for it, whatever. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, if I save this or if I go to preview right here, it also shows it what it look like in, in there. And I kind of like that. I, I don't know. That's just me. I know it's not the most exciting thing in the world. It kind of brings my background in with the red and everything else. Um, maybe instead, uh, and I'm getting really pickier, but maybe instead I'd go with black text at this point and you can just change it to whatever you want. Please be creative, do whatever you want. Um, and I could change maybe this to, if I want to ma make it back, you know, match the background a little more, I could go to uh, table cell properties and make this table actually a lighter gray. So that way my text shows up even a little better. Hit apply, okay. And there, there we go, that looks pretty good. If I go to my preview, it takes out those red little lines. And there we go. So I, I like this, this is fine with me. I know it's nothing too exciting. Um, this background here, you could make something in Illustrator or, you know, if you want, want these buttons, you could make buttons in Illustrator. Um, all you would do instead is in this table, you would insert image and like you could have a button there instead. Like you could make this in Illustrator and just put, make four little JPEGs of each, you know, or in Photoshop or something else. And so that's an option. All right. And lastly, uh, we need to put our content in, right? So... 
instead of doing content, let's do links first. Right now we have one page created. All right, it's called sample student work is the title and the file name is sample.html. So only one file exists, only one page exists. So um, let's hyperlink these to things that don't exist yet. All right, and we're doing this because it's going to save us from linking stuff later. I hope this makes sense. So if I um, highlight personal information and go to link, usually what I would do is I'd go to open file and I would have a I would have a file here called personal.html or, or you know um, it would be a Firefox document or Internet Explorer document, an HTML file. But um, it's not there yet, and that's okay. I'm going to trick it, and all I'm going to say is personal.html all right okay and then same thing with this awards honors and interests I'm going to go to link and just type in awards okay oh here's a problem what I really need to do is make sure oops just highlight the text what I need to make sure I do is do .html every time all right it's not going to work if it doesn't say .html link and this one's going to be at Academic.html and then hit OK. And then this one we're already on sample student work, so we don't have to. But I'm going to go ahead and link it anyways. And this is the way you would do it if there was other, instead of typing in sample.html, I can actually choose the file because it is there right now and hit OK. So all my hyperlinks are there. I'm hitting save. If this is the way you want your website to look like, save it right here. Make changes before the next thing. All right. Um, the next thing would be this though. If I go to File, Save As, right now I have the sample page. But what I want to make next, I want to make these four pages down here that I, that don't exist yet. So what do I need to name? I need to name the things I already called them. Okay, so I'm going to call this Personal, and then .html. I need to save it like that because otherwise my links aren't going to work. Okay, now you'll notice, you, maybe you didn't even notice this, but look at the top. It says Personal.html here. But the page title is wrong. It's sample student work. Okay, so if I go to file, open file, I actually now have the personal page open. So I'm going to click on sample and hit open as well. And I hope this makes sense to you. They both say sample student work. What's going on? Well, that's because when I saved it, before I did save as, I didn't actually rename this one. So if I'm on the personal.html and this says sample student work, well, that's not right. The way I can change that is go to format, page titles, and I'm going to change this one to, you know, personal information. All right, great. So now if I hit save, so yeah, personal, and here's sample student work. And maybe to make this, um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that. Great. And then I need to do the same thing with um, for academic now. So I'm going to go to save as, and I'm going to do academic information or whatever you want to call it and then just hit save and then I'm going to do file save as again um, for oh wait I have academic personal and sample oh I didn't make awards though so I'll call this one awards .html save there alright so I want to open all these up make sure I have them open I I have right now awards and personal information open so I need to open up sample and awards no academic so samples open open I know it's kinda of confusing right now but let me explain if you don't understand see now I have three sample student works but that's only the title okay this academic information, which, ooh, I made a mistake. I, let's, okay, this is a good learning moment here. Let's save all these, all right? And, okay, now like this one says sample student work, so that one's right. Sample student work, sample student work. This one says awards and sample student work. Well, that's not right. We're not changing the file name, but this one says sample student work. So I'm going to go to table, or in format, I'm sorry, page titles and properties. I'm going to change this one to awards. Okay. Great. And then this one should be academic. So, oops. I'm going to go to format, page size and properties, and change that to academic. Alright, cool. And save it. 
Sorry, you're going to have to go to video three now. This one's over.